We heard a lot about how partisanship was set aside in response to the news that a team of Navy SEALs tracked down and killed Osama bin Laden. But that doesn't mean that there weren't efforts to politicize the event. One might expect Fox News to argue that George W. Bush should get credit for the killing, but they weren't alone. In the Washington Post, Dan Balls explained that, quote, Bush put down the marker not long after the September 11th attacks, saying he wanted bin Laden dead or alive, close quote. Ball said that while his critics shrugged this off as cowboy swagger, Bush was serious. Quote, Bush's persistence was palpable, close quote. Well, except for when Bush said in March 2002 that he didn't think about catching bin Laden much, or when the administration closed its bin Laden unit in 2006. The Post was back on the case on May 5th with a piece headlined, In Bin Laden Victory, Echoes of the Bush Years. This article explicitly said Obama needed to thank Bush. For what? Apparently this, quote, After the September 11, 2001 attacks, Bush waged wars in Afghanistan and Iraq that have forged a military so skilled that it carried out a complicated covert raid with only a minor complication, close quote. So not only are we hearing that torture worked, but the illegal war against Iraq based on lies actually served as a useful training mission. Comedian Will Ferrell did a one-man show at the end of the Bush years in his W character called You're Welcome, America. It was pretty funny. This, on the other hand, isn't. <laughs> 